If you've ever walked through one of these giant, gorgeous, elaborate casinos, I'm sure you know these things are not built on charity. They are actually built on wave after wave of gamblers playing a losing game. If you play blackjack in a casino, odds are your blackjack game just might suck. Well, I want to share in this video five things to be aware of that might be the reason why you're helping build these beautiful, elaborate casinos. I'm Colin from Blackjack Apprenticeship, and for over 15 years, I've been training people how to legally beat casinos with card counting that is based on math and works statistically, but I also try to help share truth about gambling, casinos, and most specifically, blackjack. And my friends at the American Casino Guide asked if I would write an article for them. We've been friends for, gosh, probably a decade now. And I said, sure, no problem. And uh, we came up with the idea of five reasons someone's blackjack game sucks. And I said, hey, I gotta film a video on this because this stuff is fun to talk about and hopefully will help people out there. Well, the bottom line is blackjack players come up with all sorts of excuses or reasons why they're losing. It could be the player at third base, it could be the dealer, it could be the casino. Rarely do they say the problem is me. But if you're willing to look in the mirror and trust that the math of the game is not based on bad players or lucky dealers, but based on your play versus the casino, these things just might help you. Let's get into these five reasons, starting with number five, which is your blackjack game sucks if you come up with your own patterns. This might look like I always seem to lose with this sort of player, this sort of dealer, this sort of blackjack table, or it could be someone needs to take a hit because I've been watching the flow of the cards, or we've gotta change the dealer up, we gotta do something to change this pattern, or I know this pattern, I've seen this before. Any patterns that you are making up based on your observation, you have to be skeptical of. If you have not run a computer simulation on it, you're making up things that likely don't exist. Blackjack is based on math, not patterns that we think we've observed. If you've said one of these phrases, I would recommend that you run a computer simulation on it. If you cannot, you can't just trust patterns. See, the problem with patterns is they all work in hindsight. And I hear the same things at blackjack tables over and over about we gotta take a card, or oh, if you wouldn't have taken a card, well, in hindsight, if you wouldn't have taken a card, this would have happened or that would have happened. But what we're interested in is the math. Over thousands of hands being played, hundreds of thousands of hands, millions of hands being played, what are the statistical implications of the way that I play? If you're still not trusting me about this pattern recognition stuff, I put a link below in the info box with a link to an entire video on the gambler's fallacy where I break down what it is and what it means for you. The fourth reason your blackjack game might suck is if you don't double down at the proper times, or even worse yet, you double down for less. Many hands in blackjack are actually a disadvantage hand. If you have a 16, it doesn't matter what the dealer has, you're playing a disadvantage hand. However, there are other hands in blackjack where we as the player actually have the advantage. There aren't a lot of them, but they are the hands where basic strategy tells you to double down. So this would be a hard 11 or a hard 10 against two through nine. There are certain hands where we have the, the upper hand against the casino, and if we don't double down, we are costing ourselves money. If you run a simulation on a player that doubles down properly and someone that does not, the person who does not double down properly is probably doubling their loss rate to the casinos. So this guy might lose $10 an hour, this guy's gonna lose $20 an hour. You have to trust the math have the emotional fortitude to put that double down bet out there when the chart tells you to double down. Doubling for less is a really bad idea. You would never double for less. You're not hedging your bets. You're just costing yourself money. The third reason your blackjack game just might suck is if you're afraid of busting. Now, nobody likes busting when we play blackjack. It's never fun. However, if you've changed your strategy, if you're not following the charts because you're afraid of busting, you are costing yourself money. The most extreme version of this is what's called the no bust blackjack strategy, which says, I have no chance of winning if I bust, so I'm never going to hit a hand that could potentially bust, so a hard 12 or higher. And I have an entire video, I've got a link below where you can check it out if you want, but in that video I reveal the math behind it, which is that if you 
play the no bust blackjack strategy, you are costing yourself almost 10 times as much money as if you follow proper basic strategy. Now that's extreme, but anytime that you're choosing to not hit a hand that basic strategy says you should, like a hard 16 against a nine, 10 or ace, a hard 15 against nine, 10 or ace. If you're not hitting those hands, you are costing yourself money because yeah, those are bad hands to play. But if you stand, you have even less return on your money than if you hit. You've got to follow the chart, even if it's just saving yourself some pennies, all of that adds up. The number two reason why your blackjack game just might suck is if you play the blackjack side bets. People play the lottery because they think there is this chance they're gonna make a massive amount of money. But did you know that the expected value, the expected return on a $2 lottery ticket is to lose $1.68? So for every $2 lottery ticket, you're throwing away $1.68 and expected to save 32 cents. People do it because they think I just might be the one. And you know what? Someone will be the one. But the odds of it is that you're throwing away $1.68 of every $2 you spend. Well, side bets are similar to this in that, yeah, they might offer a thousand to one if you hit some incredibly rare payout. And you could say, well, Colin, I've hit that. But if you keep playing blackjack, you are throwing away so much money on those side bets. If you play perfect basic strategy at a normal three to two blackjack game, then on the main bet, the casino has about a 0.5% advantage over you. So half of 1%. Well, the average blackjack side bet has a three and a half to 17% advantage over you. If you're betting $10 on the side bet every hand, then you are throwing away 35 to $170 an hour of expected value. One of the best things you can do to make your money last longer is not play those stupid side bets. Of course, there are exceptions, like card counting is the exception to gambling at blackjack. Well, there are exceptions where there are ways to beat side bets, but you're not gonna come up with it with your own pattern. You have to know how to have an advantage play over those side bets. And the number one reason why your blackjack game just might suck is if you believe in any betting patterns that are not based on math, such as card counting. If you believe in martingale betting, progressive betting, pressing your bets, hunches, or that some sort of random betting pattern that you can figure out is going to give you the edge over the casino, unfortunately, you're wrong. I've got an entire series of videos where I expose the math behind these different betting strategies. You can check them out if you want, but casinos are thinking in terms of math and expected value. They know the expected value of every gambler in the casino on average. And these beautiful casinos are built by thinking in terms of math and expected value. Well, we also want to think in terms of math and expected value. And you can run simulations of any sort of betting strategy and see what it's going to cost you. There is a betting strategy based on math based on expected value that actually gives the player the advantage and that is card counting. There's countless simulations. You can run your own simulations. I can show you simulations and we've used it for years to take millions of dollars out of casinos. I've done it myself. I've run teams that do it and at Blackjack Apprenticeship, we train people how to think in terms of math and legally gain the advantage over the casino. But card counting is not easy. It takes discipline, it takes training, it takes perfect skills, it takes mental fortitude, it takes having a bankroll to be able to have enough money to beat the casino. If you're interested in learning more, that's what this YouTube channel is all about. If you just wanna be a smarter blackjack player, that's great. Don't throw your money away to these big dumb casinos. Learn how to play smart, make your money last longer, and if you really wanna gain the edge, that's what we're all about.